breaking news gold is down almost eighty dollars a big sell-off is taking place and silver is down almost two dollars and twenty cents well let's figure out why that is welcome to rapid updates let's get right into the rapid gold and silver update for you today here on a friday first let's look at the dollar index the dollar is up right now currently from being devalued a little bit it's up almost 38 percent at so the dollar is gaining it is a friday and after a lot of chaos in washington it is friday things just tend to happen at the end of the week in my opinion but let's look into it here at livemint.com gold prices today fall sharply silver rates slump what they're saying is that there's a sharp rise in u.s bond yields and a strong u.s dollar weight on gold price high bond yields increase the opportunity cost of holding the non-interest yielding gold because gold does not have a yield to it so even though there's it's low today there is a stronger u.s dollar and strong equity markets despite hopes for additional u.s fiscal stimulus under the incoming president joe biden administration if you know anything about u.s 10-year bond yields it is above one percent helping the dollar rebound to hit a near two-week peak against a basket of currencies so what it says here a strong dollar makes gold more expensive for holders of other currencies around the world we also had president trump conceding that biden will be the next u.s president listen to what gareth soloway had to say about this gold price dump it's just your run-of-the-mill pullback now this is a big pullback to be run of the mill, and I understand that. But the one thing to keep in mind is that, you know, right now you have this panic into Bitcoin, and I'm a big fan of Bitcoin, um, but it is getting a little frothy. It's a little insane. Uh, just the last time you had me on, I, I think it was around 20. So I'm going to pause it right there. Bitcoin, if we look at coin market cap, Bitcoin's at 40,000. 22,000, and that was just a few weeks ago. So we're basically double that. And I think you have a scenario where investors are saying, and this is kind of the not the the longer term holders, but the, the shorter term investors are saying, why am I in gold when Bitcoin is going up 5% every single day? And that's a great point that he makes. Now, keep in mind what he's going to say next, because a lot of us were amateur gold, silver investors, and we are in it for the long run. They are 10% a day and they're selling their gold assets. And I think as a logical investor, you want to step back and say, wait a minute, don't let me get swept up in this euphoria. Stick with gold as part of your portfolio. Now, it doesn't mean you can't have some Bitcoin in your portfolio, but don't go running for the hills, especially considering gold is, is going to go up. And continually. Silver. The dollar is going to get depreciated. It's going to fall more. We know the Democrats took the Senate now. That means more printing of money. Um, so look for gold to perform well. Very interesting take. I think it's very logical, though and common sense we're not short-term traders and we're not i'm not that way at least i think a lot of my viewers are kind of a buy and hold strategy type and you're not trading daily we're trying to exchanging you're not buying gold or, or silver you're exchanging your worthless fiat currency to sound money and historically gold and silver has been on an uphill climb for decades so the outlook for 2021 is good per this article, supply and demand, the fundamentals for precious metals. And it makes good sense. So let's summarize this. They say, although gold and silver will finish 2020 below the highs of the year, gold is still ahead, headed for an annual return close to 25% and silver around 45%. That's amazing. Assuming economic conditions begin to normalize next year, we would expect a demand, especially from industrial users to increase. Thinking of the solar energy department, Democrats are going to take control. They're going to start pushing out the green bill continuing on while mine supplies is likely to increase versus 2020 so it's consumer demand for refined precious metal products such as jewelry as the economy gets better hopefully sooner than later people will start buying things and one of those things might be jewelry people will be spending if you enjoyed today's rapid gold and silver update please give me a thumbs up we'll see you on the next video